what up, what up? It's your boy Takeaway here, man. I'm back, guys. Um, sorry for the wait. Freaking my laptop charger had got messed up, and then my laptop got all effed up. So I had to send it back to Geek Squad, and then they finally just sent it today. So this is a video actually from today. This is a money game versus my dude Tank. And you guys definitely want to stay tuned and watch the whole video. Um, this was my first money game on Next Gen. I haven't been playing money game, nothing. I've just been chilling, you know. But um, this is a real good game. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys to go subscribe to Tank. I mean, definitely a cool dude. I'm a cool commentator. Puts out good content. Um, he got an ebook out. His West Coast offense that he ran this game, which was hella hard to stop. So you guys gonna see in the video of him just doing whatever he wants. So we're gonna get a little bit into the gameplay. Um, Happy New Year's, everybody! Also, getting ready to watch this um, final game in college national championship. But um, as you can see, I drove down the field um, fairly easy. I drop a little rocket catch right there. Drop another one. So third and ten. What do we do? We come out of the bunch and we get sacked. This was just stupid pocket presence by me. You're gonna see me later on in the video get sacked like two times from that shit too. Just me not even looking. So right there, we throw a, a dot. You could say. And we get 13 yards instead of 14, so this was a money game for 15 dollars, like I said. So as you can see, right here, just ran that, ran the rock, ran the rock. <clears throat> nice little pass right there, a little motion shit he got. It's pretty tough. Next play, dot me a game of Crabtree. Look, two for two, just dinking down the field. Quick pass right there, but we was able to um, hold him to a gain of three. And what happens right here? Gets a nice little pass to the flat. The Lattimore, I think that is. Like I said, I like the next gen. I love the next gen game. The only thing I have about the Xbox One is just that I don't know if this happens with only Madden. Well, actually, it happened with 2K. I don't know if it just happens with these two games, but um, the game resets. Like you start up the game, and you gotta back out. You gotta lead a party. You gotta invite them. Like it's just a bunch of bullshit. Like that's what I really hate. The game restarting, and you're not able to invite people. You're gonna have to cut off. The, not cut off your game. I think we gotta quit the game and a bunch of BS. Like that's the only thing I hate about it. Other than that, um, I like the Xbox One. Like I said, the game is real smooth to me. I feel like the zones play pretty, pretty high. And the only thing I hate is that sometimes when people throw like lob streaks and stuff, you can't click on and pick it. Like it's kind of hard. Like, you try to click on and pick it, but you don't get no animation, like at all. You get no animation at all, which is kind of booty. So seven zero, and. This video is basically like the tale of two halves, like you're going to see. You're going to see who won the first half, and then you're going to see who won the second half. But is the second half comeback enough, you know? So right here, you see, look, this one-man rush again. Like a dumbass, I'm just sitting here, like, not looking at nothing. Like I said, like, it's different between watching and playing. Like, when you guys watch the video, you're probably like, oh, he has X wide open, B wide open. But when you're playing the game, I mean, you're not making them reads. But look right here. One. Two. Patrick Willis could have caught him, but I ain't going to count him yet. Three, four, and he's going to the crib. God damn. We was both laughing about this shit. Like, because we played it, we played in the party. I mean, we wasn't talking too much, but after that happened, we was laughing. I was like, God damn. Let me come back, get, dial up a nice little play, get his little safety um, corner back to slide inside. Right there, I started showboating early like a fool. This could have cost me. This definitely has cost me in the past. If she wasn't watching my videos, but, um. We score, oh, yeah. and we went for two every single time in this video, in this game. Every single time we go for two. Those of you know, I go for two every single time. Unless it's like to go up eight points. Obviously, I'm not gonna go for two. I want the, you know, the secure lead pretty much. So, 120 left in the game, and I need to figure out how I'm gonna stop this offense. So, um, second half, like I said, we make some crucial adjustments. We start blitzing more. We just start playing a, a lot more defense. So right here, I know he about to do this again. I put my cornerback in the flat, click on for the pick, and Carlos Rogers drops it. But you guys know what happens. And what happens? A deep, bomb, wide, open, touchdown. Naked. So we coming down the field, 21 seconds left. Let's see if we can get a touchdown. I want a touchdown, do not want a field goal. I should have went out of bounds there. That was me being stupid, but... I want a touchdown. Do not want a field goal. He gets the ball half. Him being up 10 with the ball is just good game, no re. So right 
So we throw another nice little rock catch. Cool, come on. Look at this. Look what happens right here. Oh, my bad. Look. Those are freaking slant right at his user. And look. We're down 10. And he has a bowl of So, I mean, that's pretty much... That should be game, you know? Being up 10 with ball... Being at this is a money game, not only, you know, like a little friendly game. I mean, it is a friendly game, but it's a friendly money game, you know. But it's just like a regular game, you know, it doesn't matter. You could just play, it doesn't matter. But in a money game, you definitely want to clock and to get the money. So we started playing a little defense now because we need to lock up. We need to get the ball back quick. So fourth and five, what do we do? He goes for it and he catches it but gets tackled so i needed that stop i think he had somebody open to the left i'm not sure that was a bad use by me like i went to go jump the streak and then i um went to go guard the little corner route so that kind of could have cost me but um we come down here and he had left b open on the previous play but as you can see i went back to b the very next play because he was open again and once again we go for two so we're what two for two on our two point conversion plays yeah two for two so like i said look at this half we clamping on that run we clamping on his offense. We putting the clamps down. Look, throws a pass. He gets about, let's see, two yards. He's 8 for 12. Send a nice little A-gap at him. And voila, Carlos Rogers with the, well, should have been a user pick, but um, it doesn't matter. He threw it out the zone. So now we need to score. So we got to stop fresh out of half. We got two stops fresh out of half. We needed that. And what happens, very next play, um, I come down to the one-yard line. They don't give me the touchdown. So... Very next play, I didn't get it, but I no huddle to the run again, and I got it. And went for two, got it again. So the score is 27-21. It's one minute left in the game. I'm in a great position, you know why? Because, I mean, it's kind of hard to clock out the whole game like this. I mean, it's possible, but it's kind of hard, you know. So even if he scores and go for two, gets it or doesn't get it, either way I'm going to be up by, I'm going to be down by 2 one oh, Look at this pad. It's like some real NFL God. pass right there. I should have kind of been a pick, but, like, my dude missed the SWAT and stuff. I wasn't even mad about that. I was like, that was a real, like, good pass, like, some real life shit. But, um, like I was saying, either way he scores or whatever, we're just going to be down two or down one. So, right about now, we came out in Fagby, and look what happened. See, this game, I don't like these, like, when you throw the deep bombs like that, you don't know if you could click on and SWAT it. I done clicked on sometimes and freaking missed the ball. I done threw streaks myself and thought that, I had him burnt, but the whole time he wasn't burnt. But look at this, man. I can't believe I gave this shit up. That's the only thing I had to guard, yo. And I effed it up, of course. It's ridiculous. So, like I said, you see? He went for he went for on one. So now this is pretty much the money drive. I'm not going to score because... I mean, I'm not going to score quick because I want this to be the last possession. So we're going to see how my last possession goes. We're going to see if... I play on cards right, you know? So... Did we get a good field? Nope. We're on a 16 yard long. And we just running the rock, milking. As you can see, nice little stiff arm. See, I don't complain about the stiff arm. I don't, that's not a problem to me, you know. Nothing's really a glitch in this game. I mean, the stiff arm is kind of hell, but um, it's just, it's just in a game, you know. It's nothing to be mad at. I should have got that first down right there, but it's just nothing to be mad at, you know, like. I don't, that's just me, you know, I'm a, like a freestyle player, I don't care if you rock your catch, nano, do anything, but there's certain players that get mad at things like yeah, that, I'm but like, me, man, personally, you me, man. I play like a as you can see, ass. we drove down the field, milked the clock, this game, pretty much over, well, it is over, <laughs> so we're gonna show you my stats, and let you guys see everything, the past stats and all that, but um, like I said, this was a good game, um, subscribe to Tank, check out his ebooks if you haven't. It's pretty good, and it's your boy.